गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई नवीन गर्ग वेलकम यू अगेन इन योर साइंस क्लास टूडे वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट सीड्स वट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सीड एंड हाउ इट जर्मिनेट्स फ्लावर्स प्रोड्यूस सीड्स बाय रिप्रोडक्शन सीड्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज दे ग्रो टू प्रोड्यूस अ न्यू प्लांट now see seeds are mainly consist of three parts seed coat endosperm or cotyledons and embryo first we will study about seed coat seed coat seed is covered by a seed coat this is hard outer covering of seeds which protects the embryo from harsh conditions and saves the seed from drying out for example almonds are seeds protected by a hard seed coat when you crack open it the fleshy almond comes out second endosperm or cotyledons under the seed coat is the endosperm which occupies the maximum part of a seed it stores food for the baby plant the baby plant uses this food till it grows its own roots and leaves we also eat endosperms of many seeds like all nuts as they are rich source of carbohydrates protein vitamins and minerals example peanuts walnuts look into the picture these seeds we eat third embryo the next and the most important part of a seed is the embryo embryo has everything that a seed needs to grow into a new plant it has three main parts cotyledons hypocotyle radical or primary root as the seed starts growing when sown radical produces the first root hypocotyle produces the shoot of the baby plant cotyledons give rise to the primary leaves now in the seeds lack of endosperms cotyledon is the main part and serves as the food storage for the seeds some seeds have only one seed leaf they are called monocotyledons also called monocots mono means one and the seeds having two seed leaves are called dicotyledons or dicots here di means two here some examples of monocots and dicots all the grains are monocots and all the pulses are dicots so this is all for today students thank you stay home stay safe